Hi, my name's Natalie Marie. I'm 32 years old. I'm from Eugene, Oregon. I was born there, raised in California, and also in, in Roseburg, Oregon, now living in Portland. I'm a full-time student at Portland Community College, studying for a degree in nonprofit and social work. I identify as genderqueer, um, trans entity. So the, the pronouns that I prefer to use are female, she, her, uh, and miss. My sexual identity is pansexual. I'm pretty open in, in my sexual, sexuality and expression. Um, not too heavily dependent on what people are born with or what, they're, what they uh, have between their legs. It's not as important to me as who they are, um, how we feel about each other. Um, pretty open, I've dated uh, different people from all walks of life, uh, men, women, uh, trans women, trans men, so. Um, living my life is, is an exciting thing. Every day is, is an adventure. <laughs> Just um, walking out the door can be something that is unexpected, something that um, is exciting, or something that is difficult to deal with. Um, like you say every 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 day something something happens to inspire me, but a lot of things also happen to kind of discourage me. Uh, part of being gender queer or someone who identifies outside of the gender binary is difficult in in the community nowadays because I don't think there's been a lot of a lot of education up to this point about. Uh, things like that, people don't typically understand what's going on. If you're walking down the street and somebody sees you and they're like, what are you, a boy or a girl? My typical response is yes or <laughs> none of your business. But at the same time, it's kind of like, you know what, I, I don't really feel like that's a, that's a question that should be asked of a person. It's kind of a personal thing anyway. I'm one of the people who personally feel like my identity, my orientation, um, the way I live my life is really nobody's business. But at the same time, I also feel kind of an obligation at times or like a responsibility to educate others. When they ask, I, I tend to be the one that, that will sit down and explain, explain it to people um, if I feel like they're, they're actually trying to learn or trying to understand or they're asking out of either confusion or just misguidance, not being educated and not just trying to be offensive or rude. Uh, I think that's an important thing for people who are uh, outside of the gender binary um, because it gives, us, it gives us more understanding and more visibility and people are then more comfortable because they can see that we are just like everybody else really, um, aside from our, our, uh, our, our, the way we identify. Um, but then that's something that I think everybody identifies differently. Nobody is one specific thing, I don't believe. And it helps to, to show that and be able to explain it to people so that they know that uh, we're all really the same. You know, we just, we might look a little different or <laughs> act a little different or um, sleep with different people.